Congratulations on your purchase of a Polaris Slingshot, the awe-inspiring three-wheel roadster designed to deliver an entirely new driving experience. If you're watching this video, you're obviously interested in learning more about safety and operating the Slingshot responsibly. As you learn more about the capabilities of your Slingshot, keep in mind there are dangers and risks involved in the operation of this vehicle that can result in serious injury or death. The first thing you can do to operate safely is read your owner's manual. You need to become familiar with all the systems, controls, and operation of the vehicle. Also, keep your manual with the vehicle, especially when ownership changes. If your owner's manual is misplaced or damaged, please purchase a replacement from your authorized slingshot dealer. Before you operate, read the safety label on the vehicle. It's a good practical source of safety information when you're out on the road. There's a QR code on the label that will give you access to the owner's manual and other safety material, including this video. Safety training is a top priority for Polaris. Polaris strongly encourages you to take a rider education course from the Motorcycle Safety Foundation or another qualified instructor. For information on Motorcycle Safety Foundation rider education courses in your area, call 1-800-446-9227 or visit their homepage at www.msf-usa.org. The slingshot must only be operated by drivers 16 years of age or older with a valid driver's license and motorcycle endorsement. All passengers must be tall enough to sit with their backs against the seat, both feet flat on the floor, and seat belts securely fastened. Never install a child safety seat in this vehicle. When selecting riding gear, the first thing you need is a helmet to protect your head. Always wear a helmet that meets or exceeds established safety standards. Approved helmets in the USA and Canada bear a U.S. Department of Transportation DOT label. Laws in some areas require that riders wear an approved helmet. Head injuries are the leading cause of fatalities and accidents involving vehicles such as the slingshot vehicle. Statistics prove that an approved helmet is the most effective protection in preventing or reducing head injuries. Wear eye protection to protect eyes from wind or airborne particles or objects. Laws in some areas require that you wear eye protection. Make sure protective eyewear is kept clean. Polaris also recommends that you wear approved personal protective equipment. Always be prepared for changing weather conditions and dress accordingly. Polaris makes a variety of riding gear and all of it is specially designed to keep you and your passengers comfortable when you ride. To keep your vehicle in safe operating condition, always perform the recommended pre-ride inspections before each use of the vehicle. This is especially important before making a long trip or when removing the vehicle from storage. You must be familiar with all the instruments and controls to perform the pre-ride inspections. Warning: Failure to perform the recommended pre-ride inspections could result in component failure while riding which could result in serious injury or death. Always perform the pre-ride inspections before each ride. When inspection reveals the need for adjustment, replacement, or repair, perform the service promptly. Begin by inspecting the electrical components. With the ignition key on, verify that the headlights, auxiliary lights, and park lamps illuminate. Switch the headlights to high beam and verify that the high beam indicator came on. Also, verify that the headlamp brightness increases. If adjustment to the headlight aim is necessary, refer to your owner's manual for the procedure. Check the tail lights, brake lights, and license plate light. Verify that the left and right turn signals flash at the front and rear of the vehicle. Also, make sure the turn signal indicator lights are flashing on the gauge. Check the emergency flashers by pressing the top of the hazard switch to turn them on. Verify that all four turn signals flash and that the indicator lights on the gauge are operating. Verify horn operation. 
check the power steering for smooth operation. When inspection reveals the need for adjustment, replacement or repair, make sure to perform service promptly. The next step in the pre-ride inspection is to check the oil level. Add the recommended oil as needed to maintain oil level between the safe and add marks. View the fuel gauge to check the fuel level. Check the coolant level at the recovery bottle. Always check the coolant level when the engine is cold. Maintain the coolant level at the cold fill level mark on the recovery bottle. Check the brake fluid level at the master brake cylinder reservoir. Maintain the fluid level between the min and max lines on the reservoir. Inspect the tire condition, pressure, and tread depth. Inspect the wheels for loose, damaged, or missing wheel nuts. Verify that the vehicle does not roll when the parking brake is set. Inspect the brake system hoses, connections, and brake pads. Check the brake pedal for excessive travel or a spongy feel. Check throttle pedal travel. Ensure smooth operation and full return. Check the fluid level and pedal travel of the clutch. Check both the front and rear suspension for wear or damage. Check the belt drive teeth for stones or other debris. Inspect the drive belt condition. If you discover cracks, broken teeth, or frayed edges, replace the drive belt before riding. Refer to the Slingshot Service Manual or see an authorized dealer. Inspect the entire vehicle for loose, damaged, or missing fasteners. Adjust the mirrors for proper side and rear view. Most importantly, check the condition and function of the seat belts. Due to the potential for damage from exposure to outside elements, follow this inspection procedure before each operation. Pull each seat belt completely out and inspect the full length for cuts, wear, fraying, dirt, debris, or stiffness. Test the buckles and latches for proper operation and inspect them to determine if the latch plates or buckles have been damaged, deformed, or is excessively worn. Riding in this vehicle without using the seat belts can result in serious injury or death in the event of an accident or sudden stop. Always make sure the seat belts are secured for both the operator and passengers before riding. Note that your slingshot is not equipped with airbags. The three-wheel slingshot vehicle is an on-road vehicle in the motorcycle class. The slingshot vehicle handles differently than two-wheel motorcycles and other three-wheel vehicles. Once again, the slingshot vehicle is designed for on-road use by one operator with one passenger. Driving off-road, driving at excessive speeds, driving with more than one passenger, or carrying weight exceeding the maximum weight rating can make handling difficult, which could cause loss of control, resulting in injury or death. Until you're thoroughly familiar with the slingshot and all of its controls, practice driving where there is little or no traffic. Practice driving at a moderate speed on various road surfaces and in different weather conditions. Practice braking in a safe area to become familiar with the feel of the slingshot brakes before driving in traffic. Know your skills and limits and ride within them. If your vehicle operates abnormally, cease operation and correct the problem immediately. The slingshot utilizes a starter interlock system which means that the clutch pedal must be fully depressed before the engine will start. To start the engine, turn the key to the on position. You should hear the fuel pump run momentarily as it pressurizes the fuel system. Depress the brake pedal and then depress the clutch pedal fully to disengage the clutch. Press and release the one-touch starter switch to start the engine. If either the check engine indicator or the low oil pressure indicator does not go out after the engine starts, stop the engine immediately. If any other warning indicators do not go out after the engine starts, have a certified slingshot dealer technician inspect the vehicle. With the engine started and the brake applied, allow the engine to idle. 
idle speed will gradually slow to normal as the engine warms to operating temperature. The slingshot vehicle is equipped with a five-speed manual transmission. Neutral is located between gears. When the shift lever is in neutral, it should move freely from left to right. Warning, forced shifting or shifting without depressing the clutch pedal could cause damage to the engine, transmission, and drivetrain. Such damage could cause loss of control, which could result in serious injury or death. Always depress the clutch pedal fully to disengage the clutch before shifting gears. With the engine at idle speed and the clutch disengaged, depress the brake pedal and then release the park brake. Move the shift lever into first gear. Release the brake pedal. In one smooth motion, simultaneously release the clutch pedal while slowly depressing the throttle pedal. As the clutch begins to engage, the vehicle will move forward. To shift to a higher gear, accelerate smoothly to the recommended shift point. Then, simultaneously release the throttle pedal completely while depressing the clutch pedal. Move the shift lever to the next gear. Simultaneously release the clutch pedal while depressing the throttle pedal. Within the recommended speed ranges found in your owner's manual, you can downshift to slow the vehicle or to increase torque. You may want to downshift when climbing a hill or passing. Downshifting also helps to decrease speed when combined with releasing the throttle pedal. Warning: Downshifting improperly could cause transmission damage, loss of traction and loss of control, which could result in serious injury or death. Reduce speed before downshifting. Always downshift within the recommended shift points. Use extreme caution when downshifting on wet, slippery, or other low traction surfaces. Release the clutch pedal very gradually in these conditions. Avoid downshifting in a curve. Downshift before entering the curve. Avoid coasting with the clutch disengaged through curves and corners. Accelerate by depressing the throttle pedal. For even acceleration, depress the throttle pedal smoothly. When you reach the recommended speed for upshifting, shift up one gear. Warning: Accelerating abruptly could cause loss of control on low traction surfaces. Loss of control could result in serious injury or death. Always accelerate gradually, especially on wet, slippery or other low traction surfaces. Always allow a sufficient stopping distance so that brakes can be applied gradually. Practice braking in a safe area to become familiar with the feel of the slingshot brakes before driving in traffic. To slow the vehicle, release the throttle pedal and depress the brake pedal evenly and gradually. If the anti-lock brake system activates while braking, you may feel pulsing at the brake pedal. Continue applying equal pressure to the brakes to slow or stop the vehicle. As the vehicle slows, disengage the clutch or downshift each time vehicle speed reaches a downshift point. If braking to a complete stop, disengage the clutch when the vehicle is nearly stopped. After braking to a complete stop, shift to neutral and release the clutch pedal to reduce clutch bearing wear. If stopping in traffic, Keep your foot on the brake pedal so other drivers can see your vehicle's brake lights. Warning: Braking improperly could result in loss of control, which could result in serious injury or death. Always apply the brakes gradually, especially on wet, slippery or other low traction surfaces. Avoid braking in a curve or turn. Bring the vehicle to a complete stop before stopping the engine. Warning: Stopping the engine with the transmission in gear while the vehicle is moving could cause loss of rear wheel traction or engine and transmission damage, which could cause loss of control and serious injury or death. Always stop the engine after the vehicle is fully stopped and the transmission is in neutral or clutch is disengaged. If the engine stops unexpectedly while the vehicle is moving, guide the vehicle to a safe location off the road and away from traffic brake to a complete stop. When nearly stopped, disengage the clutch. When fully stopped, move the ignition switch to the off position. Remove the ignition key and engage the park brake.
Do not attempt to shift into reverse gear when the vehicle is moving. Follow these precautions when operating in reverse. Brake to a complete stop. When nearly stopped, disengage the clutch. When fully stopped, shift to neutral. Always check for obstacles or people behind the vehicle and always inspect left and right fields of vision before operating in reverse. If your vehicle is equipped with a backup camera, view the display screen for additional assistance as needed while operating in reverse. When it's safe to proceed, shift into reverse gear. Release the brake pedal. In one smooth motion, simultaneously release the clutch pedal while slowly depressing the throttle pedal. As the clutch begins to engage, the vehicle will move rearward. Caution! The reverse speed limit feature limits reverse operation to 10 miles per hour or 16 kilometers per hour. Do not attempt to exceed this speed. If the engine seems to cut out, vehicle speed is exceeding the limit. Reduce throttle and slow down. Exceeding the limit could result in vehicle instability. Never apply hard throttle while operating in reverse. Always observe your path of travel and be alert to traffic, pedestrians, and obstacles at all sides of the vehicle while operating in reverse. The cruise control switches are located on the turn signal lever. Make sure you've read your owner's manual and understand how to safely operate this feature before using the cruise control. Warning, improper operation of cruise control could cause loss of control and result in serious injury or death. Follow all cruise operation procedures carefully. Never use cruise control when roads are wet or slippery. Do not use cruise control when driving in heavy or congested traffic. To set the speed, move the cruise control on-off res switch to on to activate the cruise control. Accelerate to the desired speed and then press and release the set switch at the tip of the lever. If you depress the throttle pedal to accelerate, the cruise control will resume the previously set speed when the pedal is released. To temporarily cancel the cruise control and allow use of the resume feature, depress the brake pedal or depress the clutch pedal. To resume the set speed, move the on-off res switch to res to resume operation at the previously set speed. To cancel the cruise control and erase the set speed from memory, move the on-off res switch to off. For more information about the cruise control on your slingshot, refer to your owner's manual. To prevent loss of control, keep both hands on the steering wheel unless you're shifting gears. Do not move or operate the vehicle with the steering locked if equipped with accessory lock, as the severely restricted steering could result in loss of control. Obey the speed limit and adjust your speed and driving technique based on road, weather, and traffic conditions. As you travel faster, the influence of all other conditions increases, which can increase the possibility of losing control. Driving while distracted can result in loss of vehicle control, accident and injury. Do not use a mobile phone or other handheld device while operating the vehicle. Improper braking may cause loss of control. Apply the brakes gradually when the road is wet, rough or slippery. Allow for a greater braking distance in these conditions. If possible, avoid applying the brakes while making a turn. Reduce speed in wet conditions. Pay particular attention if water is beginning to pool on the road. Three-wheel vehicles behave differently than other vehicles when driving over deep water. Your slingshot vehicle may hydroplane, which could result in loss of control if operating speed is too high for the depth of water on the road. Keep in mind that your slingshot is not designed to straddle debris or puddles in the road. Use caution when encountering debris or puddles on the road. Do not ride when you're fatigued or under the influence of alcohol, prescription drugs, over-the-counter drugs, or any other drugs. Fatigue, alcohol, and drugs can cause drowsiness, loss of coordination, and loss of balance. They can also affect your awareness and judgment. Ride defensively, as if you are invisible to other motorists, even in broad daylight. 
Smaller profile vehicles, such as two-wheel motorcycles and three-wheel vehicles such as the slingshot vehicle, may not be immediately seen and recognized by some motorists, which can lead to accidents. Ride where you're clearly visible to other motorists and observe their behavior carefully. Always be prepared to take evasive action. Be especially cautious at intersections where accidents often occur. When parking your slingshot, engage the park brake to prevent the vehicle from rolling. When leaving the vehicle unattended, turn the engine off and engage the park brake. Remove the ignition key to prevent unauthorized use. Never modify this vehicle through improper installation or use of accessories that are not slingshot approved. Use only genuine slingshot accessories designed for your slingshot vehicle. Do not install electrical accessories that exceed the capacity of the vehicle's electrical system. Never install higher wattage light bulbs than those supplied as original equipment. An electrical failure could result and cause hazardous loss of engine power or lights or damage to the electrical system. Modifying this vehicle by removing any equipment or by adding equipment not approved by Slingshot may void your warranty. Such modifications could also make the vehicle unsafe and could result in serious injury to operator or passenger, as well as damage to the vehicle. Some modifications may not be legal in your area of operation. If in doubt, contact your authorized dealer. Thanks for watching. Before we go, let's quickly go over the ways to operate your slingshot safely. Anyone who operates the slingshot vehicle must have a valid driver's license with a motorcycle endorsement. Never allow anyone without a valid driver's license and motorcycle endorsement to operate this vehicle. Never allow anyone under the age of 16 to operate this vehicle. Never install a child safety seat in this vehicle. All riders must be tall enough to sit with backs against the seat, both feet flat on the floor, and seat belts properly secured. The driver and passenger must wear helmet, eye protection, and seat belt at all times. Always keep hands, arms, and feet inside the vehicle at all times. Avoid wearing long scarves and clothing that may trail outside the rider compartment. Always make sure all cargo and other items in the rider compartment are properly secured before operating. Always heed fuel safety warnings when refueling or servicing the fuel system. For fuel recommendations and fueling procedures, consult your owner's manual. Bring your owner's manual with you when you ride. Following the precautions and procedures in the manual will add to your enjoyment and help keep you riding safely. If you lose or damage this manual, you can scan the QR code on the safety label to access the manual, or you can purchase a new one through any authorized dealer. The owner's manual should be considered part of the vehicle and remain with it if the vehicle is sold. This manual is also available online under the Rider Community link at www.polaris.com. Again, congratulations on the purchase of a new slingshot and welcome to the worldwide family of Polaris Riders.